Hello my friends, what's going on? Welcome back. It's been a little while. Welcome in. It's great to see you all. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day so far. So on today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be checking out two songs, two songs by the same band. We're going to be checking out a band called To Obey a Tyrant, who have released a song called Goetta. Pretty sure that's how you say that. And they've also released another track called... Of Fire and Sulphur featuring Dan Tucker. So basically, um, not yet, not, not, not yet, I was trying to play. So basically, as you guys can see, I've, uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a new place. Uh, you have to excuse the mess, we're still kind of like living out of boxes and blah, 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 all that type of shit. So a lot of my, the last like month, possibly more than that, has just been spent kind of just like trying to like switch homes, basically. You know what I mean? Just move everything from here over to here, make sure. You know, just all that boring house moving shit. It was incredibly stressful. Borderline gave me PTSD. It was an absolute nightmare, but here we are. So I am way behind, way fucking behind on a lot of reaction videos. Um, so, Two by a Tyrant have released, uh, yeah, they've released two songs in the time that I've kind of like taken a little break from doing reaction videos and doing the whole RDG thing. So I thought, you know what? Let's just be fucking crazy. Let's be absolutely mental. Let's just do two reaction videos in one video. Kind of a crazy idea. I don't know how it's really, I don't know if it's going to work that way, uh, work out that well, but here we are. Let's do it. So um, I first became aware of To Obey a Tyrant when they released a track called Vermilion Moon. I ended up actually doing a, a it's up in RDG Promotions my, on Instagram. I saved it to my um, stories. I basically just, Spent about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or something just breaking down the song, what I liked about it, what I liked about the band, so on and so forth. So that's when I became aware of them. And then, um, mm, as I like to do, I went back, I listened to all of their stuff, enjoyed it. Um, they've come a long way, like a very, very long way. That's not to say that their debut EP, um, Conjuring Damnation, was bad. It definitely was not bad. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it... Potentially, it was a little bit samey. Um, the um, some of the blackened sections were a little bit uninspired, and it was more just kind of the, 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 a lot of the songs for me were kind of just trying to get to the next slam. You're gonna, I've got big French windows over here, by the way, and the sun is kind of breaking out band clouds and blah 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 blah. So you, you, you're you're going to see the light dip, blah 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 blah. It doesn't really matter. I just thought I would address that. Um, it was kind of the 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 thing. It, it kind of just, it, there's no reason to go into detail, uh, too much detail about it, because this video is going to be long enough as, as is. It was very decent, but they really, for me, started to switch up a gear when they released uh, Blood Ritual. Um, that was when they really started to find their feet and they actually started to get that kind of like signature tool bay, a tyrant um, sound. Everything just upgraded, upgraded. The slams were better. Um, the blackened elements were more interesting. Um, they added in some more technical guitar playing. Um, the production was much better on it, just so on and so forth. They, they, they just they just leveled up massively, basically. So I am incredibly, incredibly um, excited to hear these uh, to hear these two new songs. And I've never done a reaction video that's got two songs in it before. Never mind by the same band. So I'm very very excited. And I gotta be honest, there was a lot of times over the last little while where I was uh, sorely, sorely tempted to listen to at least one of these songs and then just do a shout-out video for it. I didn't really want to... Right, hold on. Let's move this over here. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, I was very, very tempted to actually just hit the button and just watch it, right? just listen to the songs, because I'm a big fan of these guys, but I was like, no, save them for reaction videos, save them for reaction videos. It'll be much more fun this way. And I'm really, really happy I did. So we're going to start with Goeta. Goeta. I've already forgot how the fuck to say that. It's got. It, it's a. It's a biblical thing. I think. Uh, I think one. What one meaning of the word was it actually just describes sorcery in its purest form. I think there was some kind of like biblical references there and stuff. But I didn't go into too much detail about what the word actually means. But it is very, very cool. So, without further ado, Goeta, Goetia, however the fuck you say it. Slam Worldwide, of course. Shall we start? Let's start. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's see what's up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 
Oculus is a fucking animal. Love those squealy parts. Oh, I'm liking this so far. Fading bleh, I like it. We're only two minutes in a five minute song. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Okay. Two will be a tyrant. Going to, I don't know, whatever the fuck. Um, I, watched it, I watched a YouTube video on how to say that word. I watched it about five times and I've completely forgot how to say it, but doesn't matter. Um, fucking awesome. Really, really fucking awesome. Yeah, it, it, I, I, I can, a continual evolution of their sound. So... First of all, there was nothing slamming about that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It was just it's it's noteworthy. 
there was a bit where I thought it was going to slam, the bit where I was like, uh-oh, kind of like, you know, hiding, just like, you know, waiting for the brutality to hit, you know. Not to say that it wasn't brutal, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that was much more just straight blackened deathcore. Um, the, you could feel the black metal vibes just, just kind of just oozing out of that track. Um, um, his, uh, his vocals are God tier in my opinion. I like the, uh, I like the bit where he started doing really, really fast syllables and then ended with a nice little kind of like death core kind of like gargly sound. Um, he hit a couple of snarls there. Um, like I think it was like two or three different, like, I'm not going to try and do it because I did, because I can't do it. Um, there was a nice little blur that was kind of, that kind of like faded out, which I thought was really, really cool as well. As I said, the enunciation, the depth, the, the different varieties of like mids and lows and like tunnel throats and all that goblin vocals that this guy can do really, really like very, very yeah, very, very, very impressive. The, 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 this guy's got a set of pipes on him, and that's putting it rather mildly. Sorry, I'm just getting the getting the second video, uh, the, the second video set up. This is actually a music video as well, which is uh, which is pretty cool. But anyway, um, I liked that the bass kind of faded in and out. Like you could hear the chunkiness of it, but then, but, but then, like towards the end of one of the sections, you could really, really hear the strings starting to like rattle and. As as I've as I've said many times on this channel, bass is criminally underused in deathcore. Well, maybe not underused, but a lot of the time you just can't hear it. Excuse me. <coughs> you literally just can't hear it. I'm going to show you guys something else really really cool about this new setup that I've got as well. Over here, I've got my fridge. I've got my water. Mm. Very, very good vocals. Where was I? Yeah, bass is really, really good. I liked the kind of slidey like -na 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 section that I think they like they repeated twice. It's very behemoth style sounding. It was the 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 blackened elements of this sounded a lot more uh, sounded a lot more like black and death metal rather than just straight black metal that you know like worm shepherd have been doing or kind of like black and death core sounding type stuff it sounded very much like you know bands like behemoth and stuff like that gave the whole thing a very um very ominous very imposing very just kind of like massive sounding kind of landscapey sound to it um, really, really liked the drumming. I uh, liked how it sounded. Everything sat really, really well in the mix. I just loved it. Loved it straight up. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I had no doubts that I was going to like it. And um, yeah, um, like like many Black and Deathcore bands have done, um, have started to do. They've started to take away the slammy, Deathcore breakdowny style of things. And they've started to go a lot more faster and a lot more kind of like intricate, lots of like, you know, different types of last beats and stuff like that, you know, and a, the, a, a fast bit, a, like a kind of section that actually is can, can, get, can kind of be divided up into chapters where the drums will do this and then they'll do that and then they'll do this and then they'll do that. I realize my hand didn't move there at all because I'm an idiot. Um, and the heaviest section, which I thought was going to go break down or I thought was going to slam, actually just kind of it just kind of the, the the notes were kind of just left kind of to like to, to ring there and it didn't go like you know super over the top style like you know breakdown type thing so very very good very very good shit but um i had no doubt i had no doubt that i was going to enjoy the shit out of that so one song down let's get on to the next one shall we so next up we have of fire and sulfur let's um let's see what we've got going on here so let me just change this round nope of fire and sulfur boom okie dokie next up let's go okay uh right da, 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 da. okay cool right to obey a tyrant, second track of the video of fire and sulfur. Let's go.
Let's get it on. Ooh, six minutes. Ooh, nice. Even longer. Okay. Slam worldwide, so on and so forth. You already know the deal. Let's fucking go. Make sure that isn't playing in 4K because my little computer will not be able to handle it. Of fire and sulfur. Right, okay, cool. Let's go. Nice embers in the background there. I like that. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, much chunkier. Immediately, okay, right. Oh. Slightly broken. Slightly janky. I like that. I like that. Good groove. Love what these guys do with squealy pinch harmonic thing. Oh my god! Sick ass music video, by the way. Holy shit. Yeah. 
fucking hell. Jesus. Holy shit. Okay. To Obey a Tyrant of Fire and Sulphur featuring Dan Tucker. Okay. So that was quite a bit chunkier and stompier and heavier and slightly slammy um, than, uh, than the last track. That we, uh, that we just heard, which I'm not going to say the name of again because I'm actually annoying myself with um, butchering the pronunciation of it. Um, so that's a crazy range that these guys have got. That's a, That almost sounded like two different bands. Almost. It still sounds like them, but first track we heard, I'm going to put that over here. <laughs> first track we heard, very black and death metal, I don't want. I don't need to go into details. I, I already described that. I already described that track, and then this one over here, immediately chunky, chunky, stompy, heavy riff, whatever you want to call it. Just yeah, yeah, just yeah, it's, yeah. It's an amazing range. I like the fact that the that the intro that the, the intro kind of like stompy section was just a little bit broken up the, the, just the the drums did a couple of little sporadic fills the some of the some of the slides and the riffs were just like just, just a little bit a kind of like a little bit out of time but not to say that they were messy it just kind of kept you on your toes and kind of just made it like you know you know made it you know a lot you know made it made it very very interesting um the there was a lot of tremolo picking which that that's again i'm gonna have to actually learn what all these words mean i think i'm using them incorrectly but the majority of the time um but um the black and it was a bit much more black and death core sound than the than the last one god i'm repeating myself i'm such an idiot hold on mm. Kept expecting it to go for a very, very... Kept expecting it to slab, and it never quite did. It had some slabby vibes, but it wasn't, like, 100% slam, like some of the like the like like their older stuff was. Um, but, yeah, that was so much heavier. Um, really, really driven. Loved the, loved the pace of it. Um, again, the vocals are sick. The vocals are really, really sick. Um, the faster sections had, like, a properly, properly, like, very sinister vibe to them. Um, the heaviness on the outro as well, like it just kept getting lower and nastier and filthier and just, I loved it. I loved it. I loved, I, I really, really loved To Obey a Tyrant. Um, it, it just, it, just another really, really fantastic band to come out of the UK. I think these guys, I think these guys live pretty far down south in the UK. I think they're in like the Manchester area, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter trifle in detail um just another great example of the uk producing really really fucking good metal of all different shapes and sizes um yeah these guys can go super atmospheric well that's one of the things that i like about these guys actually is that they always manage to create a very a, a very to obey a tyrant-esque um atmosphere whether they're going fast whether they're going slow whether they're going heavy whether they're just letting the uh, oh yeah that was the other thing as well the um the the, the more kind of, I don't want to say melodic, but the more kind of blackened elements of it with what sounded like kind of kind of like spooky choir singing type stuff. It like really, it went really, really well with the pacing of the song. It kind of like got like higher and higher and more prominent in the mix. Um, so it wasn't just a section and then heavy and then another section. Um, these guys weave a lot of different looks into all of their songs because sometimes with, sometimes with Black and Death Core, I'm not going to call anybody out. You get a six-minute song, but you kind of think that the song could have been about like maybe four or five minutes. Like they, they didn't really do much with it. But these guys saw a lot of different looks and really keep you entertained for the full, you know, for the full, you know, six, you know, six minutes. And then you know, all the other stuff, you know, like the drums sounded really, really good. You can very, very clearly hear everything. It was just awesome shit, awesome shit from To Obey a Tyrant. I expected nothing less. But yeah, holy fuck, these guys absolutely goddamn slap. So, oh, 
how do I usually end these videos? It's been so long since I've actually done one of these. I'm just going to spitball. So, um, once this video is finished, please, please, please remember to scroll down and you will find links to both of the songs. You will find links to their Instagram, to their Twitter, to their Facebook, their, um, their, you know, so you can links to their merch, links to where you can buy physical copies of the CD, T-shirts, hoodies, beanies, whatever the hell these guys offer. Um, you'll find, you know, Spotify and you know, Bandcamp and all the ways that you can stream, you know, stream these guys and support them. Please, please, please remember to click on every single one of those links. Um, subscribe to their YouTube channel, like both of those songs. Chuck in a few, chuck in a comment there. You know what I mean? Even if it's just like you know, five, you know, like a million fire emojis or something, just to help the algorithm. You know what I mean? Just you know, to, you know, share the songs, leave comments, maybe consider buying some merch. I know, like you know, petrol prices are really expensive and shit like that. But you know, if you can support these guys because they are on the uh, they are on the up and up. I'm gonna have to try and uh, hopefully they play somewhere a little bit closer at home. But I don't mind traveling all the way down to to see what these guys are about. Um, yeah, go support them. Just do whatever you can because, yeah, God, I'm repeating myself so badly. What, what a mess this video is. I do apologize. Um, these guys are on the uh, on the rise, and I want to see them continue to rise because I think these guys would uh, these guys would slot really, really well into, like, a tour with, like, Lorna Shore or Worm Shepherd or, you know, uh, you know, Signs of the Swarm or any of those kind of, like, you know, very prominent deathcore bands, black and deathcore bands, excuse me. I think these guys would slot right in. Maybe, you know, like, a, a, you know, a little hookup from, um, oh, my God, Unique Leader Records. These guys would fit in really, really well with that. So let's keep supporting them. Let's keep helping them. Let's, uh, you know, let's let, let, let's make sure that all their hard work pays off, you know. And um, I cannot speak highly enough about that lyric video and then the music video as well. Very cool. Very atmospheric. So, uh, yeah, one more time uh, to obey a tyrant. I'm going to have to say the name of that first song. Uh, of fire and sulfur and then goita i'm just cringing every time i say that um awesome stuff go check it out do all that youtube shit thank you very much for watching my video really really good to be back thank you for listening to me rambling a load of shit for almost half an hour love you guys very much and i will catch you all on the next one later